Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. And it is general as always, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Alright, let's see Virgo, what is going on with you? We have reinvention. All right, okay. This is a pretty positive card to get, okay? Reinventing yourself. Um, finding new aspects about yourself. Trying to start something new. Becoming more authentic. Let's see. Could even be um, concerning your connection with another person, right? Reinventing the connection. So let's see, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of November. Okay, so for the situation, we have the Knight of Pentacles crossed by the Four of Swords. All right, for your energy, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. For them, the Ten of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Coming up for you is the Page of Wands, and for them, the Two of Wands. And potential outcome here, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. All right, where is the reinvention? <laughs> Virgo, what's going on here? I'm sure it's going to show up somewhere. Um, overall, okay, I do see that things are moving, they're just moving kind of slowly, and like very, very slowly, all right, with the Four of Swords also being here. Um, and I feel like this is part of a lesson here, okay? It could be patience or just, you know, really trusting a specific path here, regardless of what that is, regardless of whether it is the path of being with this person or not being with a particular person, you know, wherever, wherever it's guiding you. Um... It's interesting because I feel like you're you're coming out of loneliness, right? You've possibly in the past you've been feeling like you were either left out in the cold or that you were abandoned, rejected, and just feeling um, alone in a way. And it's like you are coming out of that, but I feel like there's still a little bit of either it's either fear or just being a lot in your headspace about it. All right, I do see you moving though in a very positive direction here, okay, with the Page of Wands. I feel like that's the reinvention here, or at least a part of it, okay? Um, taking a new path and feeling inspired again to move, to keep moving forward. For them, there's some pain that this person is in. All right, they're definitely feeling some pain. I don't know if there has been an ending here. It could be, it could be, all right? Especially having the Four of um, Swords also over here. It could be that a part of this challenge here is to, you know, recover from a particular ending. And especially with having you in this Five of Pentacles energy, which I feel is more of a past energy. All right, that's why it's in reverse. Um, you're coming out of it still a little bit shaky about it, whereas this other person is, you know, feeling the pain of that, like, full on right now. We'll see. We're going to clarify the Six of Pentacles um, to see what that's about. I do see them moving in a direction of, okay, either coming up with a plan, just not really taking much action, though, at the moment. I feel like you're you're more um, moving forward than this person, but this person is thinking a lot about this and about, you know, which direction they need to head in. So I feel like everything is just moving towards something new. That's what this reinvention is about. It's a, it's a work in progress. Seven of Pentacles in reverse here. I feel like the outcome is not going to be exactly in the way that you expect or the way that you expected. So it could be that, you know, there was a particular point in time where, you know, you or they or both of you thought this was heading in a particular direction. And then it didn't. It didn't. And what I'm getting here is that it still isn't going to be exactly in the way that you expect. So let's, at least for the first half or so of, of the month, 
But again, time is relevant, so do keep that in mind as well. Alright, so let's see. Page of Pentacles, sorry, Knight of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. So we have the Seven of Wands in reverse, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I actually feel with this Seven of Wands um, being in reverse, I'm not seeing it as somebody not having their guard up, okay? I actually see this as somebody having their guard up or having had their guard up very, very strongly. Um, a lot of resistance here. It's kind of like, you know, nope, the road is closed. The road is blocked. Or at least that's what it felt like. And it could be because whatever is happening here, it's like moving so, so painfully slow. Um, I feel like things just aren't exactly what they appear to be. I'll come back to this. Let me clarify your energy first. Let's see the Five of Pentacles in reverse. All right, yeah, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So I'm not getting that you don't have emotions for this person, but I feel like the emotions that were attached to you feeling abandoned, those are beginning to subside. All right, if they haven't even, if they haven't subsided completely. So I feel like emotionally, um, if there was, you know, if you were feeling attached to this person, I feel like you're actually releasing that. So some of these intense emotions, um, that were negative because you felt rejected, those are diminishing. But let's see the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Right, and we have three major arcana cards clarifying this right now okay so we have the high priestess the hierophant and the moon the hierophant is in reverse okay so we definitely have taurus energy as well as pisces energy showing up here um So I feel like what is kind of triggering you or, or still not triggering you, but just bothering you is the fact that there was either th this wasn't committed, there wasn't, um, there wasn't trust or this didn't end up being um, full on committed. There was a lack of that. And I feel like partially at least you don't know why, like you're not exactly sure why things turned out the way they did or why there wasn't a stronger sense of of commitment or devotion to this either from your end or from the other person it's most likely going to be from the other person i do feel like you know you're even though this eight of swords energy is here i feel like for the most part you're doing okay when it comes to you know, just tapping into your own higher self and, you know, just aligning with your own self. But there's still a little bit of possibly overthinking or overanalyzing concerning the whys. And I do feel like there might still be some, like, certain things you might not be, certain things you're not seeing within your own self concerning how, how you might be feeling about this. Okay, that's just going to be for some of you. Well, let's see. Let's see what's going on with this person. So, Ten of Swords. Alright, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So this person still wants this connection with you. 
but they're holding it as something as a fantasy, right? Seven of Cups in reverse together with the Nine of Cups. That's a lot of fantasizing. That's a lot of, it can also be illusions, but I'm not really seeing it as illusions with the Seven of Cups being in reverse. So I feel like there's clarity over what it is that they want, but they're seeing it as a far-fetched fantasy, almost like something that they don't know that they could ever really have victory over. For some of them, it could be ego also that is getting in the way. Um, and I do feel like for some of them, if you're if you're moving away from this connection, their ego might be hurt. Because I do kind of feel like you are keeping your distance a little bit or maybe you're just kind of keeping a little quiet. Well, I mean, for some of you, you might not even really have a choice, but... For those of you that did have a choice, if you are deliberately keeping quiet or, you know, keeping your distance, this person's ego is hurt a little bit. And they, but they are also really in pain, like truly, not just their ego. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, eight of Cups in Reverse. actually suspecting that and the five of pentacles in reverse for them as well all right but in a different combination here so this person not only are they not walking away from you necessarily maybe they have like on a physical level energetically at least they're not um, this is something that they actually want to bring balance to or they wish that they could but again it, it's to them it feels like a far-fetched fantasy that's like out of reach um, but it could be that this person was or has been um, giving energy to something else as well, okay, with the Six of Pentacles, like not evenly distributing their energy. So maybe they've been giving, giving, giving um, to another situation, okay? It doesn't have to be a romantic situation. It could just be anything. It could even be just to their own self, for example. Um, whatever that is, that is something that they have not walked away from as well. And I feel like the reason why they have not walked away from that, if, from this other situation that they've been giving energy to, whatever that is, is because they want to avoid um, either feeling some sense of guilt that they're not giving there, or that they will, you know, remove remove that energy from that situation. I feel like it comes with a little bit of guilt or um, a fear of loneliness, a fear of being rejected or abandoned from something or just being a fear of being at a loss like there's something they don't fully um they haven't been fully willing to release let's see that page of wands for what is coming up for you The devil. Why is the devil here, Virgo? Why, why, why? I feel like that is your own, your own um, fear. This is again, it's just a precaution for some of you. All right, just kind of trying to bring your attention to this Eight of Swords energy because I feel like if you stay in that too long, like just overanalyzing, overthinking, thinking that there is no solution here, or you know, just keeping yourself trapped in this, that's going to actually block your your movement forward because i feel like there is something that you're you're moving towards and this might not even be related to this person this could even be something completely different it could be you know a new work that you want to do a new project or a new hobby even it could be anything anything that is new anything that could even you know it might seem small but it could actually be the beginning of you reinventing yourself in a very positive way so I feel like, you know, you are doing a really good job here. Here's Mannix. Mannix agrees, by the way. Um, you are doing a really good job here getting yourself out of, you know, any kind of like a victim mentality or, you know, feeling a loss or feeling, you know, rejected or abandoned. So don't allow, you know, other thoughts to get in the way. That's, that's actually what the message is here. Don't allow other thoughts to get in the way here. And I actually feel like it's just fear. It's just fears holding you back. And 
there's no need for that. Let's see for them. Let's see the two of wands. Or oh, okay, that is way too many. I'll just take the two that flipped face up. So we have the ten of wands and the six of swords. Okay. So when it comes to what this person is planning, um, they're planning on releasing some this burden, and I feel like whatever this burden is, it is that six of pentacles that I was just talking about. All right, moving away from that, wanting to release that, some kind of a responsibility, right? Wherever it is that they've been giving a lot of energy to. Whatever it is that they were not releasing. All right, this is them moving away from that. Um, I do feel like it, what is coming up here, right? Because this is the very, very near future. It's still in the works. Like it's still more of like a plan, but, but it is a plan, All right? As I said in the very beginning, you know, Things, things are moving, it's just a little bit slowly. Um, so I can see why you would be in this state that, that's showing up here, okay? It's totally understandable. Um, but things things are moving and you, you are moving as well, all right? Towards that page of wands. I just feel like things are not going to be, you know, exactly in the way that you had imagined, but it's still going to be something positive. All right, because we also have the king of wands here. And I did say I was going to get back to this. So yeah, it's making more sense to me right now. Um, there's a lot that you're not seeing. There's a lot that you're not seeing. And part of what you're not seeing, because this is moving um, very slowly, it's it's seeing very passive. Yeah, but there, we have the king of wands here, all right? There's this ability here. And in the like undercurrent, the challenges are being overcome and you can also overcome your own challenges when it comes to this situation. Again, Queen of um, Swords in reverse, right? That's like that Eight of Swords. Just not, not seeing things clearly or possibly overthinking. Jumping to conclusions, you know, um, drawing assumptions maybe too quickly. Just, it's just, you know, allow things to be, allow things to be what they are. Um, don't, you know, overanalyze, don't overthink things. Don't, don't allow fears to hold you back. All right, so let's see about Seven of Pentacles. For the potential outcome here. Right. Spirit's like, nope, <laughs> no clarifiers. Um, all right, one more go. And if we don't get anything, we're just going to have to stick to what I already said. All right, there we go. All right, two of wands in reverse and the queen of pentacles. All right, so this is exactly what I was saying, which I feel is why we weren't getting any clarifiers to begin with, all right? Things are still in, in progress, all right? Things are still in progress. Things are not happening exactly as expected, all right? There is some kind of a plan. It's just not really showing itself just yet, all right? With the two of wands now showing up in reverse. But the Queen of Pentacles is here, all right? This is you having that potential to really stand in your power and to really find your own centeredness and a sense of grounding, all right, for your own self, taking care of yourself and really being able to reinvent yourself, all right? This is you standing in your power here. Even if things are not exactly as you would have thought they would have been by now. It's still a progress. And there is some kind of a plan here. So it's all about trusting that. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.